Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three Mr. Kipling Christmas items. They're for Christmas. Uh, Sarah lives in England and she sent me these from the Isle of Wight. Um, I have the rum and raisin slices and the festive bakewells. And the elf slices. Do you want elf slices first? Yeah. These are apple flavored sponge uh, topped with decorative red icing. Apple, apple flavored. flavored. That's cool. Now these usually aren't wrapped up. They're just in a tray or something, aren't they usually? Or the slices. I don't know they're in a tray are. and they're, they're, they have a clear wrapping. Okay. Yeah, but they are in a tray. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll have a picture. So here's, you know, it's funny. Over here, the, I would assume over here they would have wrapped them with the ends sealed on each side, and there's they wrap them put on the sides. This is weird. I, they, the yeah, packaging the, the, just seems. The packaging is different. Um, these are 117 calories per slot. Yeah, I didn't think about reading so it because I was excited about eating. It. <laughs> that's not bad though. Do they? Mmm, that smells so good. It kind of, this is going to sound horrible. It kind of smells like Play-Doh, huh? but I, but I like Play-Doh. I can blame that. Yeah, I like. Not that you ever ate Play-Doh. Yeah, but didn't you always want to eat it? I licked it. <laughs> it's salty. Because it's salty. <laughs> so I've, I've licked Play-Doh, but I've never eaten it. Now I know what's wrong with you. <laughs> that is good. And that does taste like apple. Mm, it tastes like a, really a green apple. Mm -hmm. mm. That is so good. Yeah, that's really good. It tastes like a fresh green apple. Yeah. Nothing fake about that. Mm, it's really good. You got good flavor too. I like that a lot. And I like it that it's colorful. So you could, very cool. you could, if you wanted to, you could open the whole box and set them out. Set them out. Yep. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, these are the Mr. Kipling Festive Bakewells, they are 194 calories each, but they have a lot of crust on them and stuff like that. They're awesome. Uh, these are with plum and raspberry jam topped with festive sprinkles. So we've had the ones with, we've had the cherry Bakewells and I absolutely adore them. So these are plum and raspberry. And they're like this. And Kevin and I, when we were in London, we um, had these for breakfast. Yeah, we would just eat these for breakfast. Now, I got a lot of comments saying, well, we don't eat things like that for breakfast. We, we, would, we would not eat a Mr. Kipling for breakfast. However, I did notice in all the shops over there, in Costa and in, um, uh, where was it? Greg's. Uh, I'm trying to think of. There's donuts. There's pastries, pastries. Donuts. This is no different. This you're just thinking of it in a different way. You're thinking of this as a, a, a dessert, a pudding, and it um, really you should just think of it as a sweet. It's just a general sweet. You can have it any time of day. If you're willing to eat a donut or a pastry for breakfast, this is the same thing. Yeah. So it so is. it's okay. It I'm, is pretty simple. I'm giving you permission. Muffins. They have muffins. Yeah, huge, sweet. Huge, oh, awesome. Huge caramel. With caramel. Yes. <laughs> yes. Was yes, that Costa? Yes. Had that? Yes. With that big lump of caramel in the middle of it? You had you had those twice, didn't you? Was it Greg's? Was that the name of it? I don't think we ever went to Greg's. Okay, it, it was the place that Luke wanted us to go, and we went there. No, not named those. We went there, and because Luke. Yeah, Pacino cake. And we walked like. Three miles to get there. Was it beyond the end? Nero? No. Cafe Nero. Cafe Nero. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say, it's not Nando's. No, Cafe Nero. Nero. Oh, no, yeah, we walked end. a long way to get there, but it was good. You burn off all the galleries you eat at the place. I'm just dropping stuff everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I just cleaned in here. The floor. Mm. It's very good. That is good. And I can taste the raspberry. Do you taste the plum? Um, I taste the plum. It kind of reminds you of raisiny kind of flavor. Oh, okay. That's what that is, though. Yeah. Yeah, it's I, good. I, I like love those. that. 
I, I love, love the texture of mm -hmm. the crust. It's flaky. The the white um, frosting like stuff. It's yes. really good. No, overall, those are just good. Yeah, I love these. Anytime you can get Bakewells, you should just They're buy good. the Bakewells. You yeah. cannot. People have told me they've never had Mr. Kipling. Buy the Bakewells. Just skip skip everything else. Yeah, if you those. had to, if those are the best. Yeah, they really really are uh, because there you get a lot. Okay, and those are awesome. These are the rum and raisin slices. They are 155 calories per slice. Reba. They are delightfully rich sponge made with a kick of rum, juicy raisins, and a layer of caramel. A Christmas delight. Looks like fruitcake. Sarah also sent us the caramel, which you will see in a while from now. I, you're going to see this video uh, soon because these are Christmas items. I want to get this video out to you soon. But she did send us the caramel ones, and I think those are my favorite slices. Really, they're that good. So this will be interesting. Rum and raisin. It's like a spice cake or a, something like that, doesn't it? I think I got the biggest raisin I've ever had in my life. I didn't it's pretty good. Or just big hunks of them. Mmm. And you can taste the rum. I love it. That's good. It's not my favorite. But it is good. Mm hmm. It reminds me of a spice cake. What we would have over here was a spice cake. You can really taste the rum. Uh, the, the, the raisin was absolutely, it was massive. I think the rum. In the, in the caramel ones that we tried, you primarily taste the caramel. Mm -hmm. In this, you primarily taste that the rum. rum. Oh, yeah, that that rum, rum, I don't even know if it needed caramel because it has so, so much, much rum in it. Yeah. But I like it. It's really good. You're not, not my favorite. You're not a rum I don't really like rum that much, but those are pretty good. Mm -hmm. They're not bad. Yeah, they really are. But my favorite thing is the Bakewells. The tarts are definitely my favorite. Although the, the apple, the The, the apple's really good. good. If you're in the mood for apple, that really does have a really good green apple flavor. It's mm -hmm. it's very like a crisp green apple. Very good. Um, but those Bakewells are always going to beat everything to me. They're good. So, thank you so much, Sarah. We really appreciate these, and I hope everyone else enjoyed the video, too, and thanks for watching.